Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Extracurricular Activities. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Stuart. And first up, it's News of the Week. Thanks team. Peter Mazden, a Danish self-taught engineer, has been found guilty of the assault, torture and murder of a Swedish journalist on his homemade submarine before dismembering and dumping the body at sea. Sentenced to life imprisonment, the court revealed the murder appeared to be premeditated. While Madsen never openly admitted to murdering the victim, he did confess to dismembering the body, at one point explaining, what do you do when you have a large problem? You make it smaller. Japan has lodged an official protest against a mango mousse that will be served at the 2018 inter-Korean summit between the Hermit Kingdom and South Korea. The mousse, called the Spring of the People, features a map of the Korean peninsula that includes a disputed island known as Takashima in Japan and Dakota in Korea. The Japan has labelled this decision extremely regrettable and has asked for the dessert not to be served. Kanye West and Donald Trump have hit it off on Twitter over their shared dragon energy. Kanye West has been questioned over his perceived support of the American president and this morning directly addressed the issue claiming Trump was his brother and both individuals had a right to independent thought. Three hours later, Donald Trump thanked Kanye and sparked what has become Twitter's latest obsession. Noisy Minor Bird has closed the Impressionist exhibition currently on display at the Art Gallery of South Australia. The bird was seen on Wednesday forcing the closure of the gallery's elder wing as staff scrambled to protect the painting from damage and contain the feathery intruder. While the gallery was re reluctant to comment on the incident, in a Twitter post, they confirmed the bird had been caught and the gallery would reopen. And back to you guys. Thanks Riley. And now to something that isn't a minor issue. Polio. Yeah, the UAW Rotaract Club helped raise money to end polio now by holding a humans vs zombies uh, nerf war and our reporter Bradley was there. They're just about to kick off the apocalypse and I for one am very excited. Uh, as you can see they're all ready to go, rearing to go and the zombies are here, there and everywhere so they're circling in and I can feel it is about to go down. We're here with Deesha, who organised this whole thing. General Deesha, I think. She's leading the troops. Yes, I and am. <laughs> pointing and telling everybody what to do. Uh, how do you think today went? Oh, I think it went absolutely wonderful. Um, a lot of people turned up on the day, which was great. Um, Rotary Coromo sponsored the barbecue, so that was amazing. And it just went smooth sailing. Heaps of people had fun. And Okay, so what is Human vs. Zombies uh, raising funds for? So it's essentially raising funds for end polio now um, and all the funds raised go to get medication for the kids in the countries that have it. And how much money have we raised today? Um, we have raised, uh, a, I think around 1500 and above, but I haven't like, had a quick look at it, but yeah. yeah. Fantastic, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alright, I'm here with BJ uh, and you're gearing up for the second match. How yep. are you feeling? I good, I'm excited. I had a great time in the first one. Yep. Um I got some got some good action and I got turned into a zombie. So yep. yeah. Is this your first humans vs zombies? Or? It is. Yes. Yep. My first uh, event, so it's fun. I like it. Let's get out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with the next round. Alright. Well, it's much more peaceful here now that the zombie apocalypse has passed, like cloudy weather. And we have so much to look forward to in the future. A future free of flesh-eating zombies. And polio too, because that's what this whole day has been about. So, I look forward to that. I'm Brad Sullivan, and this is UOW TV. Well, the end of the world doesn't look so bad. And neither does the week. Here's Tori with Horoscope. Dear Taurus, look out. You're going to have a wild ride if you don't start realising the importance of the people around you this moon. Make sure to take care of the special someone in your life. Realise their worth and what they mean to you. Whether it's the potential Tinder date or your mutual best friend of two weeks on Snapchat. Remember to tell them how you feel 
through a cheeky text or snap. Consider the emojis to express the right emotion. Shower them with the socially correct amount of attention and affection. When it comes to the surface level of representation, for example, like how you paired those shoes with those pants last week, who are you to judge others? Think critically, analyze your options and or wardrobe. You actually might need to invest in some new vans and clothes for upcoming winter. Staying active while you can may make the difference you need. Between food and your study routine, things may get repetitive. Just take a break that doesn't involve napping between meals. That doesn't mean don't treat yourself. Food is just another way to fill in that big void-like hole inside of you. Thanks, Tori. Let's hope all those Tauruses get their week right. And now our reporter River went to the Fez Mayor's comedy show and this is what he got. Two years of pure good times here at Fez Mayor's. It's been fantastic. Now to me, you're thinking, holy shit. Ed Sheeran really didn't do too well in his last tour, did he? It's, when it started, it was definitely small. I mean, like, I used to put six comedians on. And, like, if I got, like, seven or eight, someone would come from Sydney or whatnot, I'd be like, wow, this is a big night. And uh, we're now at a point where, like, I actually have to turn people away. And it's just a lot of fun, man. Like, we just hang out at the end of the night, have a couple of beers and chill out and just, you know, we'll talk about each other. You guys are awesome. You guys are a great crowd. I remember, I remember, you know, man, like, when I started out, I remember being so nervous. Like, I was on and there was a very small audience of six comedians. Like, no actual... No it sort of helps keep life interesting rather than just going to work and coming home. You know, it's opened me up to this world of comedians, met so many friends, um... I'm challenged every time I do it, and I'm more of a creative, outgoing person because of it. You might think I'm a little bit rough, you know, I bag people out, I swear a lot, but you know, just for some pastime activities, I go to the skate park every now and then. For some reason I decided to do some comedy. I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, uh, I think you'll see, I think you'll, you're, you're, you're going to love it. I promise. I forgot what I was going to say, so I'm just going to leave it there. A great effort by our reporter, River. Yeah, it really takes a lot of guts to stand up in front of a crowd and perform comedy. Um, now it's time for some music news. It's The Muse. Hey guys, welcome back to The Muse. We've got a hectic mix of artists in the gong this week, with a few international acts making their way to our shore. To kick it off, The Creep Show are hitting the stage at Rad tonight. This eclectic band hail from Montreal and have been putting tunes together now for over 12 years. With a strong psychobilly punk sound, these guys are unlike anything you've heard. Supported by the Resonators and others, it's set to be a rad time. Now Dan Sultan will be filling the air with his soulful sound at the Spiegel Tent tonight. The music team managed to catch him at Blues Fest over Easter and can guarantee an amazing performance. And you can catch Donny Bennett at Uni Bar on Saturday. This guy has a slick sound and a stage presence that is sure to get you grooving. He's supported by Hightails and Sydney band Tupperware Party. And if you're looking for something extra, Pride Tide is back for another hit at Rad Bar on Saturday. Pride Tide aimed to put on a series of events and social gigs throughout the year to give the LGBTQIA and LA musicians a platform to showcase their talent. With an awesome lineup featuring Froyo, India Sweeney, Emily Duncan, Cass and Griff, and heaps more. And now we can be sure summer's at an end. The last Sunday sessions at North Gong for the season is taking place this week. Headlining the day are Californian boys Jeff and the Spicolas, and on the bulletin are Sydney Dudes, Neighbourhood Void, and our local boys Jacob, with heaps more. If you haven't been to a North Gong Sunday session, it's better late than ever. Head on down for a few beers and some sweet tunes. So that's all for the week. Make sure you get out to get your toes tapping and head thrashing. Stay tuned to what's happening in the Muse each Thursday. Thanks, Lils. The Spiegel tent looks great. And well, that's this week all wrapped up. I'm Caitlin. I'm Stuart, and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye.